I um did a did a quest new quest open up? Uh no. Doesn't seem like it. Nothing from our good buddy Blackwall. Hmm. Hey, Flissa, how you doing? Hey, Fl Flissa, it's me, I the Inquisitor. Oh, gosh. That's all you have to say. I wonder if she has anything new to say. Your worship. How's business? How are you doing? Good business. In this gilded fortress? How could we not be? <laughs> we'll nice speak chat, another Lord. time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. All right. Man, what in the world? So, um, there must be something here. There's something here? Oh no, a letter. Uh oh. Message from Blackwall. Inquisitor. What? You've been a friend and an inspiration. You've given me the wisdom to know right from wrong, and more importantly, the courage to uphold the former. It's been my honor to serve you. What? Did he just leave the party? Did he... What? So now it says there is a new quest here. Inquisition Messenger. <laughs> That's funny, he just <laughs> ran right at that spot. Well, look at that guy standing over there. Lord Trifles Minutia. <laughs> this is that guy that I asks trivia questions. Inquisitor, as does the Quizquisition. <laughs> it begins now, and there is a timer. Fearing that Nugs carry the blight, Kirkwall declared the noxious vermin in 520 exalted. <laughs> the extermination is known as... Um... It's known as... Battle of Squealing Plains. The Battle of Squealing Plains. It is not spoken of in polite company. Correct. <laughs> well played. It was a total guess. We will continue when I have time and the wind calms me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hilarious. That is so funny. He's lit really weird. He looks cartoony. Anyway, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, messenger, give me the bad news. The spy master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. Gone where? Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything yet. Sister Liliana had us search the warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. Oh, thanks. Thanks for your counsel. A crumpled report. A crumpled sheet of paper. It looks like it was removed from a recent report to Sister Leliana. Lieutenant Cyril Mornay, one of the soldiers responsible for the Collier Massacre of 937, was captured, was captured in Leeds. Like the others who were arrested for their involvement, Mornay insists that he did not know who he was assassinating and that he was just following the orders of his captain. This captain, Tom, Tom Rainier, is still at large. Mornay is to be executed within the week in Val Royo. So is... He's gone to help him, maybe? Is that what he's gone to do? I'm pretty sure I saw a new mission show up here. Revelations. Blackwall has left the Inquisition. It appears to have something to do with the impending execution of a man named Mornay, one of the soldiers responsible for the Collier Massacre. Attend Mornay's execution. Oh my. Huh. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty neat mission showing up here. Um, let's see here. We've got a um, whole bunch of um, beasts available. This one's hardy. So, I mean, these stats don't change or anything. I want a fast one. That's because normally when I ride a mount, it's just to get someplace quickly. 
Let's see. Fierce and fast. Ooh. Uncommon, fierce, and fast. All right. Uh, no. No, I'm looking for the word fast. I'm just scanning it real quick here. Uh, these are all Dracolisks. Hmm. Unnervingly intelligent, willing to correct its writer will not suffer fools. Huh. Uh, do, do, do. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go to that one that actually had the word fast in it. I'm going to buy this. I bought it. Now I'm going to make it my mount. You served me well, painted pony. But you're being replaced. Was it a Dracolisk? Desert lightning. Look at that thing. <laughs> Inquisition? Oh my gosh, look at that thing. <laughs> Jeez. It looks like it's wearing a mask. A costume. <sighs> Alright. Well, I guess that leaves Josephine to talk to, doesn't it? I mean, I hope I'm not forgetting anyone in my party. I wouldn't be too terribly surprised if I was, though. Sometimes it's hard to keep track. So, let's run up here. And uh, we'll speak with Josephine. See what so she has to say. Or Any day. I'm sure I like to listen to conversations. It'd be simpler to just admit you've never bought a round. You won't get the next, and likely you never will. Yesterday, I ate a pleated leather shoe. What? Aww, come on. Let's teach you normal life. What? All right. Anyway, I wanted to run up here to Josephine and. See what she has to say about what happened at the Winter Palace. I'm sure she's going to have something to say. Inquisitor? Yes, that's me. I'm kind of busy right now, though. Hey, hey. What's up, Josephine? How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. Um, yeah, man. I don't blame him. You don't see the Empress of Orlais almost killed in cold blood every day. Not so brazenly, no. The game's become increasingly insular in the past two years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. Oh, um, yeah. Celine knew. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. Damn straight. Uh, it was very exciting. Playing the game was thrilling. We did just make history. Indeed. Tales of this affair have begun circulating in Val Royale. Although I do wish Varric would show a bit more restraint in his accounts of the evening. <laughs> hmm. Come on, you have more to say than just that. I was hoping you'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevara. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. Then we must have impressed them, right? And the Inquisition's deeds have won their respect. They'd never have contacted us otherwise. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead hmm. of Tevinter. It's getting a little messy here. Uh, let's see. Tell me a little bit about King Marcus. What sort of man is the King of Nevara? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a Pentecost. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Nevada. And uh, does Cassandra support him? As a Pentecost, will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentecost, her interest in politics is best described as thin. Hmm. Uh, and why does Radonis need us? Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He 
he has little reason to love them, Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. Hmm. What's the Archon like? Tell me about Redanus. Like most Tivinter rulers, he's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. Oh, okay, thanks for the info. Well, what would you do? What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Arle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. To winter is the longer, richer game. Hmm. Uh, my family lets us help both? I wish I knew what these symbols meant. I mean, I, I realize this is from a perk that I've gained, but I don't know what perk that is. I actually have relatives in Navarra. If you reason with the Archon, the Trevelyans can persuade King Marcus we should help both countries. Letting the Inquisition curry favor with both Tevinter and Navarra. Most ideal. Damn straight. Okay, cool. Look at me taking care of business. Let's see if she's got anything else to talk about. Uh-oh, what happened? I clicked on her, but nothing happened. That's weird. Oh, is she mad at me? She's not going to talk to me anymore? Josephine, I'm sorry. Huh. Alright. So. she got nothing else she wants to talk about, huh? Okay. Let's go in here and make sure that our war council has stuff to work on. A lot of operations have opened up. Time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orlay. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. Yeah. With Orlay's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Well, let's hope for deserters. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. And we'll keep them there. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. Oh my. Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds. That's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Hey yo. Fortunately, I can assist. Please continue. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. Uh, okay. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful in its way. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Uh... Oh well, I guess I'll go in.
If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. It's incredible. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. Hmm. How did you find How this? How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. What does it mean? If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time, one cannot remain in between forever and what do you mean by opened from this side what do you mean a few can be opened from this side some of the alluvians have been left unlocked like doors accidentally left ajar all others are closed they can be opened only from beyond opened how with a key you have a key i suppose you have such a key the key can be many things each alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. And uh, Corypheus wants this? Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Well, well, at least she just left me right outside the, uh, or maybe she didn't. Whoa, where am I actually? I thought I was right outside of the, um, door to the war council. Where the heck am I? Have I ever been in this room? It's just one of those books, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Huh, I guess this is one of those rooms that just has been locked up until this point. Well, that's kind of neat. Well, this is a good time to take a break, so I'm going to do so. I thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you consider leaving a like, or maybe leave a comment and let me know what you think of this game, or this playthrough, or this particular episode. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in the next episode.